Want to have your car on fan rides? This is what you do. Send me pictures of the interior, pictures of the engine, and pictures of the exterior. A bunch of different pictures. You don't have to send just one or two of each. You can send me five, ten, or whatever of the interior, exterior, and engine pics. And I'll just pick out the ones that I'm going to use. And also a one minute clip of it running so we can hear that beautiful choppy chop chopness that it has and the exhaust because everybody loves to hear some good exhaust and some doggone cars chopping it up. So if you would do that and you could be on fan rides and you send it to this email address right here and we'll get your car on fan rides. And plus uh, along with that. Um, it might not come out like the next day or two or whatever. It might be a week or two before your car gets out because there might be cars ahead of yours. So just be patient with me and we'll get your car on fan rides. Hey, yo, you ready? Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Fox Channel, another edition of Fan Rides. We are back to episode 66. And as you can see by the thumbnail, we're going old school. And I mean old school. We're talking way back. Full eye gang. All right. To start things off with this bad boy, this is from Steve. And he said he's got an 86 four eye that he bought brand new and still have it. He originally bought it for his wife as an Easter present. But she wasn't too thrilled about it because she was pregnant at, with twins at the time. Oh my goodness, with twins. After continual miles year after year, the car became faster and faster. He said he started with E85 and nitrous, uh, running 1180s, and then a stock block 351 Windsor with nitrous. NA, it was running 1180. With nitrous, it was running 1030s. He raced at pinks all out. Hmm, in 2010, okay, at uh, Route 66 Raceway in Illinois, and he hurt the motor. Now the 351 Windsor was in the car, has been in the car for 16 years, and was abused every weekend, doing a lot of street racing. Uh, so he got his money worth out of that motor. So in 2011, he bought a Dark Eagle based. Don't want him to go out. Uh, he bought a, a Dark Iron Eagle based 351 that was bored and stroked to a 438. Wow. And, of course, on top of all of that, he had uh, a 98 millimeter turbo on this bad boy. I guess that's a TH400 Trans. He had 88 rear end with um, a 327 gears in it, E85, and it dynoed, a, check this out, y'all. This dynoed at 1070. Yes, 1070 it dynoed at 22 pounds. Uh, first pass was 910 at 150, and the second pass was 860 at 160 at 12 pounds. Wow. That thing is, is, is a beast, y'all. This thing is a straight up beast. And it is on a uh, 9 by 28 tire. But hey, check this out. Uh, y'all stay tuned to afterwards. There's a little bit of bonus footage that Steve sent me that I want y'all to check out. His, his, his wife's car too. Very nice, very nice thing that he bought for his wife after this was all said and done. But let me uh, let me continue on with this right here. He, she decided that he can have the car and that's gonna be at the end of the video what he bought her. Steve, awesome guy, awesome guy. I could tell that by what he bought his wife at the end of this video. And y'all stick around and check it out. It'll be at the end after everything is all said and done. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's get into some of these nice picks. Of course, starting with the engine. Wow. Check this bad boy out, y'all. And remember now, this is this is the new one after he destroyed <laughs> the other one. Weekend after weekend of street racing. This right here is the one that's been bored over and it is now a 438 cubic inch motor. And look at that big 98 millimeter turbo. Wow. So now you can see why this bad boy ran uh, what it did and has a horsepower of 1070 at the wheels. 1070 at the wheels. This thing is a straight up monster. And I love how he has the, the, uh, the engine base set up. 
Nice, looks just like a straight up race engine in this bad boy. Definitely, definitely digging this bad boy right here, y'all. And right here, you can see the progress of the engines from the first one to the 351 and then to that beast, that dart block that he put in there and had it bored to 438. And on top, on top of all that, that big 98 millimeter turbo in this bad boy. Wow, you can see the progression. He made major moves, major moves with this bad boy. All right, everybody that races know these numbers. I'm not so uh, versed on all these numbers, my bad. You know, I don't do a whole lot of drag racing, but as you can see, these are all of his numbers that he ran with the new engine in it with the 98 millimeter turbo. Those are his numbers right there, and y'all can tell those are some good numbers. Now this is what it started out as, his wife's present at Easter nice four-eyed mustang 85 model you know can't beat that five hole you know it said she wasn't really happy because she had twins at the time but underneath i could tell I, I know she was happy i know she was happy underneath but with the twins yeah she's not gonna be real happy you know because uh she's gonna believe she's gonna try to figure out how she's gonna fit the twins and the husband and everybody in this bad boy right here but hey they made it happen and look at that bad boy right there y'all that's old school right there. Love the old school GT. 85 model. Side shot of the uh, the GT that as, as when they first bought it now that is. But this thing, check it out. You know, I know everybody can remember back when they first seen these bad boys out on the streets, you know, falling in love with them for the first time ever. But yeah. And check it out. You got the old bullet hole wheels in this bad boy that they was that they that they sold them with. Oh, digging it, digging it, digging it. But of course, you all know this thing turned into a beast shortly after. Shot from the back, you know, I gotta show that. And as you can see through the back window, they made it work. You see the both, both seats, both car seats in there. So, you know, everybody sells their cars because they have babies. Look what Steve did. He put car seats in them. That's what they're there for. Put car seats in there. You ain't gotta sell your sports car just because you're having a baby. Steve made it work. Put two car seats in there. Now they're a family of four in a 50 Mustang 4i. Come on. And this right here is after a bunch of mods. You know, you see this car has turned into a straight up beast from what it was. You know, as you can see, she's enjoying the car right now, for real. And look at the, the, the stance on this bad boy. It is a straight up track beast. Love this shot right here. And <laughs> check it out. Calls for divorce on the back of the car. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. But yeah, you can see this right, but this bad boy right here is a straight up track beast right here now, y'all. Because remember, he said year after year after year, the car became faster and faster after he modded it and modded it and modded it again. So yeah, this thing right here, I mean, and he and this bought this car originally now, so he knows everything that this car has been through. And this is at um, a show you know, taking it out to a show, you because you gotta show this bad boy off. You know, this car is a straight up monster. I'm loving that big old cow hood on this bad boy to let some of that air, that hot air out of this 98 millimeter turbo monster with four digit horsepower. Good gracious. And this right here is when he raced at, uh, in 2010, Pink's All Out at the uh, Route 66 Raceway. So you can see, he towed the tires down the track with this bad boy, y'all, all day long. And that's awesome, though. That is that is very awesome. That wrinkle wall tire is put through the test right here. As you can see, as fast as that bad boy is, he's got to have a shoot. And it is deployed right now, so he just ran down the track, and it looks like he uh, looks like he beat a Corvette over there. It looks like in the background over there. So awesome. Oh yeah, loving that, loving it. And since he had this car since 85, these are all of the trophies that he's accumulated over that period of time. He, he, he almost disappears in the background. I know there's, there's gotta be at least 50 plus trophies sitting out here, if not more. But you can see all the accolades that he has won with this car because this is an awesome car. This is an awesome track beast well put together and as you can see 
very, very well loved. And this was, this is right here is when he was in Ford High Performance Magazine. And on the cover, on the cover, y'all, now who, there's not a whole lot of folks that I know that can say that they've been on the cover of some major magazines with their build. There are some, but I know I can't ever say that. I'm probably never gonna be able to say that, but it's all good. I can enjoy everybody else's. And here's the article way back in the day when he first bought this bad boy. Fast 86 Ford GT does quarter mile in 12.75 seconds. And you know, it's a lot faster than that right now. He's down in the doggone single digits. Wow, that's awesome right there, love that. But all right, let's get into some video of this bad boy right here so we can see how this thing sounds, how it runs, and probably some smoky burnouts. My goodness this bad boy is just goes thump 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 all through the neighborhood and this thing sounds awesome Steve and as you can see right there at the end he's got a Hellcat Durango this joker does nothing but fast things y'all nothing but fast things oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it and on top of that <laughs> you get to see his wife's car remember he has this fast Mustang 1070 horsepower at the wheels. He has a Hellcat Durango. And now, here's his wife's car. Boom! A doggone GT500. Oh, it's a 2021 GT500. Oh my goodness. Hey, Steve does nothing but fast things. There is nothing slow about this man at all. I love how his wife has her tag right here. Uh, Nets GT. <laughs> that right there is awesome because his name's her, his wife's name is Annette. So, Annette's GT. Awesome. And you can see this bad boy is nice as well. Quick shot of the interior of this bad boy. Love those seats. Love those Recaros in this bad boy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, look at the other pick as well. Nice, nice shot. Yeah, bonus footage, y'all. I, I, I had to show it, because Steve got some fast vehicles at his house, and this right here, you know, it's, it's just amazing, just amazing. And this is how that GT sounds. Yeah. I like this bad boy right here. Steve, you are killing it, Steve. <laughs> I know that the neighborhood <laughs> is loud and they know when you're coming and going. I can tell because everything you got out there is loud. I know it is. But hey, I appreciate you uh, sending your car into Fan Rise, Steve. Really do appreciate that. And if you want to be on Fan Rise, this is what you do. You send me pictures of the interior, a bunch of pictures, pictures of the exterior, a bunch of pictures, and pictures of the engine, engine bunch of pictures and send them to this email address right here and we'll get you calling fan rides and also on top of that send a one minute clip as steve did so we can hear how those bad boys sound so we everybody likes to hear some good exhaust we like to hear some turbo wine we like to hear some supercharger wine and some thumpy thump thump of the exhaust so do all of that and send that car into fan rides and we'll get your car on fan rides and when you send it, don't look for it to come out like in a day or two. It might be a few weeks because there's a bunch of cars ahead of you that's got to come out first. I just got everybody in order. All right. All right. Appreciate that. But anyway, if you like that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get all that fresh stuff when it comes out. And we'll see you later. <laughs>